This is the Halo Mega Renegade Banshee. It comes with 205 pieces, is rated for ages 13 plus, and this set is absolutely awful. The two minifigures that you get in the set are the only positives. However, the build is riddled with issues and inaccuracies. This set is an absolute horrible set and something that never should have been released in the current state that it is in. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Banshee itself that is wildly inaccurate to even the picture that we see on the box. Starting off at the front, looking at the canopy piece, we have a really large hole right in the middle that is not used at all or plugged up. Under that we'd have two of the plasma cannons which actually look pretty good. They're using the same piece that has been used from Mega for many many years and connect up nicely. They did a good job connecting the shooters. They are just slightly flimsy and they will fall off pretty easily being connected only by three studs. Moving over to the side of the build, the wing actually looks pretty good in this one, albeit not my favorite design, but a design that represents the Halo TV show pretty well. There are three different printed pieces on the wings. Each one just has little round blue circles in them to represent lights. The wing comes to a point at the very end with the finger pieces that Mega uses for mechs, lining the very tip of the wing. The wing is built in two different sections, one at the front and one at the back. They are connected at the underside through clear pieces. Nothing crazy, this is a design that we've seen closely before, just slightly altered to fit the Halo TV show design. The biggest problem with the wings is the way that they connect to the actual frame of the Banshee. They connect super, super poorly. The Banshee wings also look really bad when compared to the Arbiter's Quest set. This Banshee has stoppers on the wings to allow you to make sure that it can get the exact angle that you want every single time. It's the perfect angle for the Banshee and makes the design really nice. But with this new one, the movement is so crazy, you can almost make it look like it's flying like a bird. Perfection. Taking the wing off, you can see at the body of the Banshee, we do have little connection points which allow us to put these hooks in there, but they don't look super great. We do get two printed tile pieces on it, which is nice, but it's just sort of there. This print isn't something that most people would probably even notice. From the side of the Banshee, you can also see one of the biggest issues in this set that rears its ugly head from the Banished Banshee set a few years ago, the gaps between the canopy and the body of the Banshee. I don't know how you can make a set twice with the same issue, twice with the same canopy, twice, and still not figure out how to cover up that stupid gap that's in between the two pieces. It makes zero sense. There is no argument here that you can say that this is a play set and so it's meant for play and that doesn't matter because this set is rated for ages 13 plus. This set is made for people who watch the Halo TV show, which is an older audience. There is no reason at all that they should have left these gaps in here all the way from 2020 when that first Banshee was released. I am so disappointed with Mega for leaving these gaps in here and using this canopy piece that was a reuse from way long ago, which we'll talk about in a minute. Moving toward the back of the Banshee, we have two printed Covenant screen pieces, which are redone in this clear color with two prints to represent fins. The print on this is cool and it looks decent enough, but the fins are just simply disappointing. Even 10 years ago, Mega was able to make fins completely separate from the body of the Banshee and they are actual pieces. They're not printed at all. 10 years ago, they could do better than what they do now. From the back between the fins, you can see the interior of the Banshee, which is pretty barren, but not really something they really had to add a ton in. At the front of the cockpit, they have a piece printed, which is actually different than the print that we got from the Arbiter's Quest. So I'm happy that they were able to at least give us some sort of effort with this set. The inner bits of the cockpit are mostly tiled off. The front does have handles for the Elite to hang on to. And you can fit the Elite in there really nicely. It sits just like it should in a Banshee, and you can close it up on it without having any issues. Wrapping up on the Banshee, we need to talk about the absolute worst part of this Banshee and the reason this is the worst Halo Mega set ever, and it is the canopy piece. The canopy piece on here has a whole variety of issues. Of course, we talked about the gaps in the front, but look at the color compared to this canopy piece and to the box, the box of the set. They are two completely different colors. They are not even in the same arena you could say, well, you know, there's slight variation, it happens, maybe the printing process or whatever they use to color this thing just wasn't working right and, and so you gotta cut them some slack. But in this set, this canopy piece is a reused piece from the Orbital Banshee set that was made 
over 10 years ago. Looking at both the canopies from the front, immediately you can notice that the original canopy piece, mind you, this is the exact same piece and I'll prove it to you, has no hole at all. The original piece has no hole, so Mega could have used the original mold. It's not like Mega went out and made a brand new mold and that these canopies are actually slightly different. No, they both still have the Mega Bloks logo on the inside of the canopy, which proves that these two are the exact same piece. At a time when Mega Halo is doing so poorly, it is just absolutely insane to me that they would let this slide and shows such a lack of effort that they would let this come out to market. This Banshee build completely ruins the set for me, but of course we can't talk about any mega set without talking about the best part, which is the minifigs. The minifigures in the set are the only light in this set at all. We get Spartan Soren 066 and then just a regular elite miner from the Halo TV show. Soren looks not too bad, however he just doesn't look like he's from Halo, even though he has Spartan armor on him. Now, of course, this isn't a design problem by Mega, but more so the Halo TV show and them not understanding what Halo design really looks like. This is the first Spartan that we've ever gotten since the change over to the new style of figures that has a chest plate that is not removable. So you can't take this chest piece off and put it on another figure, which is unbelievably dumb that of course they change that with this one figure who has armor that you might want to change with other figures to make a full Spartan. It makes no sense, but nonetheless, that's what they decided to do here. The jacket piece is a piece that we got from the Call of Duty line, so it's not anything new, but pulling that off, you can see all of the detail on the back and a little bit more of the detail on the front. The Elite Miner is the funniest part of this set because it just looks like a round blob almost. I, I don't know how to describe that helmet, but it just does not look like Halo. Of course, this is again a design of the Halo TV show, not Mega, so they did a good job at representing what we see in the TV show. I will say the chest piece looks pretty good, although it makes it look like he's wearing football shoulder pads. It has a pretty good paint detail as well as the feet too. The shoulder pieces are the same ones that we use for the Arbiter. So nothing new there and they aren't detailed painted or anything like that. The back looks pretty good too. And it has the least amount of detail, but not really necessary to just normal elite. The energy sword we get with this guy is probably the best piece that we have in the entire set. It looks great. It's an energy sword that we've gotten before, but it's always awesome to have swords like this that have that electric detail. With all that said, that is my review of the worst Halo mega set to ever exist. This set is honestly the most disappointing mega set I have ever built, and I really didn't expect it to be that bad when I opened the box. I never thought I'd be saying it, but this set is worse than even the original mega sets that would fall apart. Mega could have done a much better job here and it shows a really large lack of effort that they weren't willing to remove that hole and just give us the old canopy piece with the exact coloring that was supposed to be there in the first place. This is a 4 out of 10 set, the figures are the only redeeming quality about it and you definitely shouldn't pick this up unless you just want those minifigs because the rest of it just isn't worth it. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts on the state of Mega Halo itself and about this Renegade Banshee. Tell me what you think. Hit that subscribe button to see more Mega reviews of some of the best sets that they've ever released. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.